Hey guys, in the last video I showed you how you can use the Spanable String class to change the text color for only specific parts within a string. And in this video I want to show you how you can also make these substrings clickable. And this way you can not only open links, you can do whatever you want. In this case we will show a toast message, but you can also open another activity for example. And for this we will use the Spanable String class again, but this time I won't go so much into detail about the different parts of the code, because I don't want to repeat what I said in the last video, so make sure to watch that one first and you can find that video when you click on the little eye in the top right corner of this video. And as usual you will find a link to the code of this example in the description box. And again we will start by making some slight changes to our activity main.xml file. And we will simply change the text view that we already have. We set the text to I want this and this to be clickable. We increase the text size with Android colon text size to 20sp again. And we have to give it an ID so we can find it later in Java code at plus id slash. And again we call it text underscore view. And that's already it for the layout. Now let's go back into our main activity.java file. And first we need a reference to our text view. So we create a text view variable, we call it text view equals find view by idea r.id.text underscore view was the ID we gave it. Now we need our text in form of a string, string and we call it text equals and we type in the same as we did for our text view. I want this and this to be clickable, semicolon. And to only change parts of our string, we need a spanable string again. We call it ss again equals new spanable string. And here we pass our text string variable. And last time we used the foreground color span and the background color span classes. This time we need the clickable span class. And we create two different ones because we want to set two different parts of our text view clickable. So we call the first one clickable span one equals new clickable span. And we get this on click method here. Before we take care of this method, we go where this red line is here and put a semicolon to close this. And in here you can do whatever you want. For example, open another activity. In this example, we will simply show a toast message. I'm gonna choose this live template down here. And I'm gonna set the text of the first toast to one so we see which one was clicked. And now let's copy this whole part here for our second clickable span. We paste it below, call it clickable span two, and change the text to two. And now we have to set these clickable spans on our spanable string. So we take our ss spanable string variable dot set span, the same as we did with our color spans. We pass our clickable span one, comma the start index. So let's see, the start index is zero one two three four five six seven, and the end index is eight nine ten plus one, so eleven. So we pass seven comma eleven, and for the flag we pass span dot span exclusive exclusive. Again, if you want to know what this means, you should watch the color span video first, because there I explain this. Gonna copy this for the other word. And here we have to set the index to 16 and 20. I've already prepared this. And of course we also have to change the clickable span to a clickable span tour. And now we simply take our text view, call.zText and pass our ss spanable string variable. The same as we would do for a normal string. But in order for our clicks to work, we have to take our text view again, call.setMovement method, and pass link movement method with capital L dot get instance. This is necessary for the clicks to work. So let's test this. And there are our clickable words, and by default they have the accent color and are underlined. And we can click them, one and two. So this works. If you want to change the text color for a specific word or get rid of this underline, you can do this as well. For this we have to go into our clickable span anonymous inner class after our onclick method. Here we press Ctrl O and overwrite update draw state. We keep this selected and click OK. And here we can use this ds variable to make some changes to our substring. For example, we can call ds.setColor and we can pass a color, for example, color.blue. And to get rid of the underline, we call ds.setColor. 
set underline text and pass false. This will now change the appearance only of our first word. So let's test it again. And now it's blue and doesn't have its underline anymore, but it's still clickable. As in the last video, I encourage you to take a look at the code in the description box and play around with it to get used to it. And if this video is helpful, please leave a like. Take care.